Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on the all time great and the future potential all time great. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer that gorilla from Baltimore, the undefeated three division world champion, who is the youngest hottest star in the game and just put himself in position of being the face of boxing. Then we have Canelo Alvarez, arguably the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, the four division world champion, one of the greatest to ever lace him up. And to me, Canelo is still the face of boxing at the moment. But I want Canelo Alvarez to come out and let Javante Tank Davis know, hey, Tank, I like you, Tank. I like you a lot. I think Tank is a, he's a hell of a fighter, you know. He's a hell of a fighter. But uh, I'm still um, the king of boxing. Yeah, I'm still the king of boxing. So, um, you know, Tank is, is, you know, he is a hell of a fighter. But I like him as a fighter. But... Um, he still haven't passed me up yet. I'm still the face of boxing. So I want Canelo to come out and let that boy know that he is the face of boxing. You understand what I'm saying? And that, you know, he still got a little work to put in, bro. He still got a little work to put in to become the face of boxing. He ain't too far behind, but he still got a little work to put in because Canelo is still clocking in them dollars and Canelo is still putting the masses in the seats, if you ask Marty B. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, Canelo got a fight coming up. Um... I don't think it's going to be as big as, as Tank and Ryan, but it's going to be a hell of a fight, you know, over in Mexico. And it might just, you know, the people that come in is going to be bigger, but the gate ain't going to be bigger for us. That. Now, Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis, Javante Tank Davis. What a hell of a performance he put on against Ryan Garcia, stopping him with a beautiful body shot in the seventh round, making him go down. You understand what I'm saying? Um, the recognition that Tank gained last night, put him on a different level you know what i'm saying it rose his stocks and i knew it was gonna do that for tank if he go beat ryan because everybody in the world was watching every i mean man i'm getting fucking phone calls from people who don't even fucking watch boxing that want to see tank fight people who love boxing that want to see tank fight and you know you got the the hardcore fighters like myself and everybody else then you got the casual fans you know that comes and and you know watch this thing man so he brought a lot of people out last night bro that you know that's gonna put him on that level and that's gonna want to see him fight once again especially you know talking about becoming the face of boxing now ryan garcia went out there and did what he had to do can't knock ryan he made a lot of fucking money last night he made it to the seventh round a lot of people thought he wasn't gonna make it to the seventh right and you know he went down from a body shot that a lot of y'all couldn't take so a lot of y'all keep talking about oh man ryan blew the fight he did this he did that you motherfuckers can't take a body shot, let alone talking about from a professional fighter like Javante Tank Davis who hit like a heavyweight. So I'm not going to knock Ryan Garcia for not getting back up. You know what I mean? It looked like he wanted to get back up, but his body just, you know, his body reacted different. So, hey, the man say he couldn't finish, the man couldn't finish. You know, he made a lot of good-ass money last night. He gave us some entertainment. Just think about if the fight was over in two rounds. You motherfuckers would really be pissed off and saying, Ryan, fuck your money off. So you got seven rounds out the man. He just couldn't beat Javante. You know what I'm saying? He go up. He fight other fighters. Do he be victorious or not? We just got to wait and see. You know, I know a lot of people go shit on the man. But I still think, you know, um, his popularity grew. You know what I mean? Whether he won or whether he lost. And if he got real hardcore fans that really fuck with him, then you go stick behind your guy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you fans are fickle the way y'all switch up and, you know, jump from fighter to fighter. But if you got a, a real hardcore base... You know, that's sticking behind you. All you got to do is go out there and get another win. Not saying that Tank lost go, you know, bounce off or go away that fast. One and two wins, fight another big name, beat his ass, you'll be right back in the mix. But for us, Canelo, Javante Tank Davis, and his face of boxing situation, it's a lot that goes along with just being the face of boxing. Okay, you can go out there and beat the big star, but you still got to carry yourself in a, in a certain way. You have to continue to fight the best out there, right? We know, like I say, Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson is out there. If Tank go out there and fight somebody like a Devin Haney next and beat Devin Haney and become undisputed at the lightweight division, hands down, no question. Hands down, no question, he becomes the face of boxing. If he go out there and fight a Devin Haney after doing what he did to Ryan Garcia, packing the arena out once again with all, you know, every fucking superstar in the world, because that fight go bring out superstars, then you got to give him his, give him his just due and his credit. But when it comes to Canelo, right, Canelo's about to fight John Ryder in Mexico. The Mexican crowd fit to come out in abundance, right? Not saying he's going to make the money that they made for us, the gates, but Canelo for damn sure going to pull in 50 to 60 million off that fight. You know what I mean? 
And I don't think Tank Nam is touching nowhere near no fucking 50 or 60 million. So he got that going for him. He's still putting asses in the seats. He still got so many goddamn endorsements out there, right? When you talk about Canelo on this fight game, everybody go talk on him. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody. So Tank still got a little more to do, but he did put himself in position after Canelo. You feel me? Now, if Canelo take another L, hands down is Tank. But if he go out there and beat this dude in John Ryder, then come back and face a David Benavidez or a Jamal Charlo, right? Even a Demetrius Andrade, if he get one of them cats in the ring, then the buzz is right back on because those are the three people that y'all think can beat Canelo Alvarez. So all you motherfuckers going to be right there watching the fight, pulling for him to lose or whether you pulling for him to win. That's going to be a big-time fight in the sport of boxing in Las Vegas. And y'all know that shit go pack the building out. You understand what I'm saying? Then when it comes to Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, you know, he put himself in a position, but he has to continue to stay fucking active, bro. He got to stay active, and he got to fight the best of the best. That's why Tank and Ryan outdid him and Terrence Crawford, even though him and Terrence Crawford didn't take place. And I told y'all that in the beginning, that the fight that's going to give Earl and fucking um, Bud a run for their money is Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. You know, y'all talked all that shit. Oh, Money Brown, y'all know what you're talking about, man. That's the biggest fight in Boston. I never said for us legacy-wise. I told y'all for us making money, for us to hype, that Tank and Ryan might be bigger than Earl and fucking Bud. And y'all seen what happened last night. Them dudes made it happen. Ryan Garcia did what he had to do to make the fight take place. Salute to him. And, and you know, they did what they did, bro. They made a a, a a monumental moment, right? And you can't get you get you can't hate on the dudes for that shit. No matter what y'all say. A lot of y'all want to shit on Ryan and say this and say that. The dudes in one of the biggest fights in boxing of the year. Matter of fact, the biggest fight of boxing to now of 2023. Ain't got to give him his just doing his credit. You know what I mean? Now, when it comes to Canelo, he has to put somebody with a name in the ring with him. Um, if he go fight Dimitri Bivol at the end of the year, that's a legacy fight. It ain't a hype fight. You feel me? Of course, it's a rematch of you trying to avenge your loss. But a lot of people don't know fucking um, Dimitri Bivol like that, even after beating Canelo the first time. You feel me? So, legacy fights and, and fights that's, we can say, that's um, highly competitive for skill-wise... Those fights don't get a lot of recognition because people don't really know the fighter that he's fighting. But if you was to put um, Canelo and Jamal Charlo, Canelo and, like I said, David Benavidez, that shit go pop. Or if you put um, Earl and Bud in there, that's go pop. So they have to make those kind of fights take place, you know, to get that recognition and then grow. If those fights don't take place, then you see what happened. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you can make history. You can say it's a legacy fight before us the hype. It ain't going to be as big as the next. You feel me? So just looking at the situation, how it's going down and things like that, I still got to get Canelo the edge on being the face of boxing. Javante Tank Davis, you know, like I say, he put himself in a good position. But right now, um, he's number two. Right now, he's number two. You feel me? I can't leap for Canelo Alvarez, you know what I'm saying, off of that fight with him and Ryan. Like I say, it did wonders for Tank. It did wonders. But it's a lot more that comes with being a face of boxing, you know, than um, beating the top guys out there that people consider the top guys. You know, you got to do other things, in my opinion. You feel me? In my opinion. There's a lot of people out there that go say, hey, Mike Brown, you tripping, man. We think it's Tank right now. Canelo ain't do this. Canelo ain't do that. And I don't mind. You feel me? We know boxing is a young man's sport. We know Canelo is 32. We know Tank is 28. So at the end of the day, you know, we'll see how this thing takes place and how it plays out. But right now, Canelo Alvarez still holds that title. Javante Tank Davis is number two. But he's not that far behind, man. He's putting himself in position to become the face of boxing. And if he can get there, kudos to him, fam. Y'all know Tank is my guy. Canelo is my guy. So I ain't got no problem with Tank becoming the face of boxing, you know, because it still falls down to Monty Brown top shot toss in the boxing game that deserve their respect. And I'm quite sure Canelo won't mind Tank being the face, but right now Canelo Alvarez is the, the face of boxing and Canelo ain't giving that spot up. You know what I'm saying? He doing this thing. He deserve it. But let's see how the future play out. Shouts out to Tank. Shouts out to Canelo. I'm saying those are my guys. Keep grinding, keep shining, and keep kicking ass. Straight like that.